Michael podcast. Bring him friends. All right, recording. Recording. <laughs> My phone's not on vibrate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, let's not. Let's do let's that. Let's not do, yeah. Oh, man. It's always awkward when we don't have a guest. It is. I always feel like it's always like weird because I'm just like, we hang out. We hang out all the time. So it's like, the fuck are we going to talk about? We haven't talked about. It's like. Well, we have the. This is 150th episode. 100. Yeah, it'll be 150. Yeah. It'll be 150 be episodes. 150th, yeah. So. Yeah. Congratulations. That's a milestone. I mean. Congra- congratulations. Congratulations. We did it. We did it. We did it. We beat the statistics. Yeah. We beat the statistics. For people that don't know, like, statistically speaking, you most podcasts don't make it past like 100 episodes. Uh, They don't make it past a year. And most don't even like, I think, like, what was the other one? It's like yeah. after like a year, they just don't. There's so many. Yeah. It's like so it's, many. it's over. It's like a 60% yeah, of them like that start. 60%. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's so funny. Everything that's like really fucking hard, like people, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm crazy. No, but it is difficult getting guests all the time. Well, yeah, we've had like three cancellations this week. Yeah. So, so that kind of sucks, but we it's made the it. the Marine Corps' uh, birthday. Birthday, yeah. Yep. Hide your wives, hide your kids, hide your grandmas. Definitely the grandma. Yeah, definitely grandma. <laughs> you can't definitely do. grandma, bro. The Marine Corps does not discriminate. They, they do not care. They will come into they will they will come into a town, clean the alcohol, sleep with all the women, eighteen and above, and then they will just just go just blow tear. things up and murder things. Yeah, like it is wild to me. They got the Toys for Tots thing going on too. Or do they? Yeah, okay. did you guys ever do that in the Navy? Yeah. We really? Didn't. Yeah. Huh. I don't remember it being such a big thing in the army. No, we always had it in uh like the well, we had a quarter deck and we'd mm-hmm. put it on the quarter deck so when you came in you could drop off a toy or something. All right, like now that. talk to me like I'm a fucking dumbass. What the fuck is a quarter deck? This is this the authorized place of entry. Ah okay. 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 Uh, I was talking to somebody that they they got out after like fifteen years they were an officer. And they were like, yeah, I always had shore duty. Uh, I never I never wanted boat duty. And I was like, yeah, I got a friend who did like 15 plus years on, on boat. He goes, that poor bastard. It's so funny how some people are like, no, put me on a ship. And some people are like, no, I don't put me on a ship. Well, it, the way it's supposed to go is you do a rotate, rotate between uh, sea and shore. You, you for, so what the fuck you do happened it, to you? Like, doing, did, you just, did you just like... Like we're just like fuck it, or is it just your job? Well, it's also needs of the navy. So ah, see that phrase right there that you said needs of. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember that phrase needs of the army. Yeah, so it, it huh. that's the way it's supposed to go. But if they need you, it's like well, you know, yeah. you're supposed to do shore duty, but <laughs> it's such a weird time right now though too to like join. Like it feels like. It's it's like so weird with everything that's happening. Like it's so wild to me, dude. Medical marijuana got passed. Yes, it did. I heard that a lot and of this, people aren't happy about it. Well, it got passed by quite a bit of margin. I mean, it wasn't narrow. I don't know. Some people I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a couple of people on that want to talk about it. Okay. There's like a few things. I haven't read it. It's like thirty eight pages. I haven't I'm read the whole sit, thing either. I'm gonna sit down and do it. I'm gonna sit down and, re- and read it. But I do know that they, uh, it was just a matter of time before they did recreational. Yeah, it, it's, it's, I mean, a lot of it is going to go to, uh, the, it's like the, 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 the attorneys or whoever the fuck it is, they're going to get some money. Oh, definitely. The veterans, which we'll see what that entails. Um, well, see, that that's the thing. I don't know if that's for sure or not. Cause when they first got the lottery here, mm-hmm. they said, uh, the proceeds were going to go to the schools. And after it got passed, uh-huh. you know what they said? Uh-huh. They said, no, we said we would like for it to go to the schools. We would like for it to go to the... Uh, what a it was sneaky a... little thing to say to me. Yeah. Hmm. So it wasn't... So in the bill, it didn't actually say it would go to schools. But when they were promoting it, they were saying, 
uh, this was going to go to schools. And then once it passed, they're like, well, we didn't actually say it was going to go to schools. That's like, that's and everybody like, was going like, yeah, you actually yeah. did say it was going to go to school. That's like, that's like people, that's why I laugh when, when people listen to things like what Dave Chappelle says with like the contracts and stuff like that. Oh yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, that's always been a thing. Like shit with interpreters, you have, you have contracts and stuff like that too. Obviously not to that level. But those those types of contracts, like in perpetuity and blah 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 blah, like that that phrasing, it's always it's always been a, a wild thing, man. Yeah, but did you hear what happened with Dave Dave Chappelle? No, what's happening? He is supposed to uh, host, host Saturday Night Live, and the okay. person and the person the trans person that were working at Netflix who resigned over it, yeah, was working at SNL. Is twi- no, no, okay. tweeted, tweeted and said, "I thought I canceled him." What? Yeah. What? Hold yeah. on. Let me pull that up. What? Yeah. I was like, on. I don't even know your name, and you thought you canceled David Chappelle. Hold on. Writers of Holy Boycott SNL after Dave Chappelle announces upcoming host. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Transweet so about did David Dave Chappelle. Chappelle. Say? Did Dave Chappelle. As far as I know, he didn't say nothing. Yeah, he's fucking Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Let's see. Hold on. When was this? No, this was last year. This was last year. Yeah, I need something for... Da, 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 da. But yeah, I heard on the news today. I have to find that. That's that's a that's a very interesting story. I thought I canceled him. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn. It is, uh, is wild. I was like, nobody knows who you are. Who... How do you yeah, <laughs> how do you I, cancel I somebody? I'd I I, I like to find I like to find whatever that, that is because that's just too funny. Yeah, it was on I was like uh that just seems insane. <laughs> I I thought I canceled David Chappelle. That's like you know, like trying to go like, yeah, I canceled NASCAR. No, you didn't. Just because you just because you boycotted it doesn't mean it's canceled, okay? (laughs) Just because you watched it, using that word properly, (laughs) yeah, yeah, you just yeah, Uh, dude, dude, that's that's what's wild when you talk to like, not not even like the sexuality apart, but like when you talk to certain people, man, like some people just don't listen, like some people just don't listen, like some people just. They just jump at like whatever they heard and then they make a decision based upon that and then they create this whole reality mm-hmm. and it's just like dude, what? Like it's it's wild, man. It's well, sometimes wild. they don't even they pick up on just one thing you said mm-hmm. and they get all upset and we're like Yes, I did say it, but <laughs> well, it's like very really difficult, especially like you know, like when you're talking jujitsu, right? like it's 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 hard to tell somebody like hey like if you don't let go of that like that person's gonna get hurt. yeah <laughs> you know it's yeah like i think a lot of people avoided having and, and this is funny as i was telling this to a friend of mine like i'd rather have an uncomfortable conversation in the beginning than later on the problem is is that you have the uncomfortable conversation and the person doesn't understand you or hear you or or listens mm-hmm. and it's just it's it's a mess and some people like you gotta like you realize most people, whenever you're talking, they're already thinking of a response and not even listening to what you're saying. Most people. But that happens because sometimes that person really doesn't want. Well, here's the thing that can happen for a million of, of, of reasons, right? Because mm-hmm. that's happened like shit in my marriage that's happened where I'll say something like, you're going to say this. It's like, but that's not, that's not what I'm saying. But like a lot of times I think personally that happens because. I'm not I'm not in the mood to listen as to so much as like uh reaffirm what the fuck I said because I've thought about it in a million ways or whatever whatever the reason may be. And it's like, dude, like maybe I'll agree with you. <laughs> like, like, no, I I actually honestly try to listen because they may have a point. Yeah, but you're better at that than me. I just tell people to go fuck themselves. Why well, do that eventually? If uh. I drag it out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. granted, I drag it yeah, out. I, I, I'm just like, no, go, just leave me alone. I don't. First of all, I don't even want to talk about certain things. 
Yeah. Like that's that's what cracks me up. I will say this. Um it has been really quiet uh after like the elections and everything, like here in town. Like especially yeah. after the medical marijuana one. Well, I just thought that um there was gonna be like a certain candidate didn't win and there would be a certain Democrat <laughs> didn't win and there would be a riot somewhere. That's what Why I was expecting. Violence. Incited. I didn't incite it. You said, on, there be, you said riot. You said the word riot. I did say the word. I riot. heard riot. And I and said Democrat, but they were peaceful said, riots. Yeah, see, they could said, be peaceful riots. You said those two. <laughs> Bro, Just because they're court, barbecuing a gas station in the background doesn't mean they're not peaceful. It's, it's the Marine Corps birthday ball. Ain't nothing gonna happen. That's Marines true. Gonna go outside, get drunk, and that's that's the only dude. That would be the best time to riot, though. Think about that. In the Marine Corps birthday ball? Oh, yeah. Bro. The riot breaks out? The the every... Marines are going to be there anyways. Yeah. So just blame it on the... Oh, my God. That is... Because as soon as a fight starts out, you know the Marines... You are... know the Marines are going to... They don't give a fuck. They're, they're going to ta- start swinging at each other. Yeah, they're going to just yeah. take off their jacket and be like, okay. Yeah, they're yeah. going to their dress blues. Dress and... blues is like, yep. Bro, bro, yep. that is... Ooh, that is... That is a good strategy. That yeah. That would be probably the best time to go start and cite some shit. Ooh, not that we're saying go do that, but no. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're gonna wake up and there's gonna be some shit on the news. <laughs> Cars gonna be overturned. <laughs> how did they catch the water tower Dude, on so fire? Wild. How like, did they do that? <laughs> I, I've seen, I've seen how how the fucking Marines go party. And oh, like, trust me, I do. Like we used to shut down streets. These motherfuckers will shut down a country. Like I don't give a fuck. Yeah, like, it's my birthday, motherfucker. Well, they recognize. used, yeah, they used to have. Uh, they don't do it anymore, but they used to have Marines on boats and uh, on ships. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of the first ports I went to was St. Thomas, mm-hmm. and so they had a, the Marines were over here at this bar, and of course the sailors on the other side of the bar, and we started making insults and everything else, and then somebody got, somebody got somebody pissed, got a little butt hurt, somebody got a little pissed, and you're like, ah, don't talk about my grandma or whatever it was, and whatever it was. And anyway, Whatever. just fists and chairs started flying and everything else. And I and I heard the distinct... Wait, what do you mean chairs and... I mean, Whoa, what the fuck? I mean chairs. <laughs> I mean chairs. Just started flying? Yeah. They're Marines. I mean, you don't go half-ass when you're fighting with a Marine. You just... <laughs> but I heard the distinct sound of the shore patrol whistle. Yeah. So I jumped out the window. I was like, I'm I not jumped out the window. Yeah, I'm not I'm not getting caught here. Dude, I remember I remember And that was. hurts. I don't recommend jumping out of a window. I never yeah. I never well, I remember Yeah, I can say this. We had a, a guy in our unit that uh he was a little new, you know. And we had just gotten back from deployment. Like it we weren't it was like pretty pretty quick, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, this dude was just talking shit. Like we were drinking in, in uh, I don't want to say the place. I'm Fort Leonard Wood. We were drinking on Fort Leonard Wood, in these barracks rooms. And we were like, "Well, dude, we gotta initiate you." It's like, so we like duct taped him to like three mattresses. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Put a put a helmet on him. We like <laughs> duck. We put two on the side, burrito rolled him, and then put a top one, and then duct taped it. And we threw him from the second floor. And that yeah, was, that was pretty fun. I think that was funny. He was fine. He thought it was cool. A lot of people. Yeah, you're not. Think, you're not the first one to do that. You yeah, know that, oh, right? dude, yeah, I, yeah. Dude, I. That's a. We weren't as like cautious a, when we did that, but. What do you mean? What the fuck would you do? We just had the two mattresses and a helmet. Risk management, man. Just, Risk management. That's. That's that's. And it wasn't. It part. wasn't two stories. It was like. It was one story. So <laughs> we threw him in the water. No, it was ground. <laughs> we, it was a ground. It wasn't the water. What do you mean you threw with the water? Man, we were just in the Atlantic Ocean, and we're like, you know what? Fuck this guy. <laughs> no, we didn't. That probably would have been safer. We could have thrown him in the, in the water. The... But we didn't do that. We didn't do we that. fucking killed. I just can't. I just can't. I just can't. <laughs> you talk about the water, and I'm like, fuck this. Fuck no. No. I just, there's. No, it's no, actually, it's there's, actually there's pretty. There's so. Uh, at times when there's nothing going on at night, it's pretty peaceful. You can see 
all the stars in the galaxy, it seems like. It's yeah. just amazing. And Cthulhu or whatever the fuck is sleeping down there is also there watching. Just, just going on. We get you. We get you doing now. Nah, he already ate a Russian submarine, so I think no. we're safe. No, yeah. no, no. Submarines are. Uh, uh, dude, no, no, just no. Mm -mm. Yeah, because they're mm -mm. like, you want to go to submarines? Like, nah, willingly. No, mm -mm. no, mm -mm. no, no. Mm -mm. I don't care how cool the movie Red October is. I do not want to be. It's just not. <laughs> it's just... And it's like, you, you you know that that's an assignment that sucks. Because you know nobody oh, yeah. fucks with them. Nobody does, no. Like, when they come back, they're back. Ain't yeah. nobody saying shit. You got in trouble? You're in a, you're in a nuclear sub? Yeah, ain't nothing gonna happen, bro. No. This is better than being a fucking CIA agent. <laughs> no, nobody knows where you're at. Yeah, nobody can know where the fuck you're at. Yeah. I mean, what sub you? I mean, sub command is probably the only one that knows where you're at. Yeah, but they probably do the same thing they do when, when you go on like a mission or something where they segregate you for a few yes. hours, they take yeah. away your phones and yep. stuff like that. Yep. And then they go on way. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Probably. I have no doubt that they yeah, do that. They they have to. There's certain precautions, but like Yeah, but the uh... wild. That's a wild job. Like, yeah, that's a wild fucking job. And like, how how high can you get in rank? Like, how does that? How does the the structure... well? It's a small. It's a small community, so everybody eventually knows everybody. But no, no, no. But my question is, and this is actually a good question I'm going to ask you, is like, how does the chain of command work on that? Especially if it's like a nuclear submarine, because a nuclear submarine, the only reason they're nuclear is to deter. Yeah, it's a deterrent. Yeah. So, so like. How does the chain of command work there? Like, you, what do you mean? As far as firing a missile or what? No, 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 no. As like inside of them. Obviously, you have the commander of the sub who is the highest. Yeah. Guy. Well, you have, you know, the captain. Mm -hmm. And he, and no matter what his rank is, he's always referred to as captain because he's charged the boat. Correct. Captain. Correct. Yeah. So he could be, uh, he's probably not, but he could be a lieutenant colonel or. Well, colonel. yeah, the army does the same thing. But, but he's we're, called yeah, captain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? I get what you're saying. Yeah. 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 Uh, so he would be in charge and of course you have the XO executive officer and then Correct. you'd have the chief, uh, and he'd be the uh, chief of the boat. So is it chief, is it a senior chief, a master chief? Or it's chief? probably usually a master chief. I mean, it could be a senior chief, but normally it's a master chief. That's pretty cool because if an E7 is in it, then that E7 is like, it's good for his NCOER or his oh, yeah. officer evaluation report yeah. or whatever. And if it's a E8, it's like cool. And then if it's an E9, that dude's probably retiring soon. Oh yeah, yeah. How much money they make? You get paid extra, like how much extra? Yeah, you get extra pay because you get like hazardous duty pay, and then there's a special pay for uh, sub pay. And I'm sure if you're underway for, uh, yeah, they got a yeah, dude. I, I don't know how many pays they have because I got hazardous. Keep those guys in a lot, like they try to keep them in because the guys that work on the uh, the nukes, yeah, because it's nuclear submarine. Yeah. They get paid a lot more if they work somewhere else than the oh, Navy. Oh, yeah, it's like EOD. Yeah. So like their EOD. biggest problem yeah, is yeah, keeping yeah. those guys in. So their reenlistment bonus is ridiculous. Dude, I'm going to be honest with you. Now's the time to enlist here pretty soon. Yeah, now's if you go now, you, you get through now. boot camp right now. Dude, you'll get through boot camp. It's so easy. It's so fucking easy. Like if you're a. Yeah, because if you wait till later, dude, it's going to be harder. It's going to be. It's going to change. It's going to change. Oh, definitely. It's going to change. It's definitely is definitely gonna change. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a pretty big change coming soon. And the thing is, is the problem also is that one of the reasons that I think a lot of people, and I've been saying this for a while, I even said it to like a couple of my friends. I said it to your nephew before he enlisted. Mm -hmm. I was like, dude, the reason a lot of people don't want to join is because you got twenty plus years of people who've been in war that some of those kids are now turning eighteen, and then every you know every five years. Like you're gonna have that push, so I don't foresee recruiting standards being met for a while, bro. Well, I think they're gonna toughen up just because they're gonna get rid of um, all this because the military is not a social experiment. Well, but that's that'll change. I get I get what you're saying with all that the all the stuff that they've done with the the whole yeah. vaccine thing and everything. But at the same time, it's like, hey, man. Because cause right now, it's like... Uh, right now, it's it's weird. It's like a yeah. little weird, and everybody... And the thing is, is like, it's not... Because nothing against trans, but if you're... if you Because you could be trans in the service, and you're non-deployable. You are... Are they non-deployable? Yeah. I didn't know that. They're non-deployable. Because of the, so the, the, the medication and stuff, Well, they probably. have medication, and they yeah, may have some have other... To, yeah, you would be a cat, too. 
Yeah. Be a cat too. Yeah. Cause you're on. So you're, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. useless. Why do we want that? Well, they're not. God damn it, Eric. If you're not deployable. I understand, but we're no longer in a combat arms, uh, uh, type of environment. Well, the, I get what the, you're saying. You would have to be deployable, especially with everything happening right now. Yeah. Cause you could, the thing is about combat, you don't know when it's going to happen. I mean, it could yeah, something. And that's the thing is why I don't understand why we've, like I've I've had a lot of my friends go through basic and they're like, dude, it was nothing like you said it was. I know so when I went through it, nothing. it was. Well, yeah, you went through back in you know 1932, you know when Chesty Puller was still on and whatnot. That might not be historically actually no, that is accurate. I think. I think it was 1930 when I joined. When Chesty pulled. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys pick duty stations? Well, we have this. Uh, you probably have the same thing. And dream sheet. Dream sheet. Oh yeah, it's bullshit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you get three shore duty, three C D and three overseas. I actually got what I wanted. I asked for Fort Leonard when I got Fort Leonard. Oh. Because I asked I asked for like Scotland, Australia for my overseas <laughs> one. Like Iceland, <laughs> stuff like that. That Iceland. never showed up. You Iceland. Know? Yeah. It's like <laughs> can you imagine the drill sergeants when they see that shit? <laughs> Motherfucker want to go to Japan. <laughs> Bro, we had a guy. I remember we had a guy in, in the Fort Leonard Wood SRT. Uh, they call him Captain America. He was just built. He kind of looked like a like what I would assume a, a dude that has a nicotine issue. If Captain America was 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 like a alcoholic. No, if Captain America <laughs> wasn't. He can't be an alcoholic. Captain America can't get drunk because of the the serum. Oh, well, that's uh, true. That's no, true. If Captain America was uh, an OEFOIF veteran, I would assume that's what that that's what it would look like. This dude, <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, this fucker, like he would he would chew dip and talk about his ex wife and all this other stuff, and he's just it it was just so like exactly what I would think uh, an Iraq or Afghanistan uh, veteran Captain America would look like. Oh yeah, and uh, I was talking to him, and I go, man, sorry, why are you so mad? And he had joined the army married. And when he got married, he went to Japan as his first duty station mm. in the army. And you can't bring your wife. Well, he didn't bring his wife. I don't think there's some place you can't bring your wife. Well, he didn't bring his wife. And, okay. And uh, he extended in Japan and it cost him his marriage. And she fucking filed and he had to pay alimony and all this other shit. And, uh, dude, I never forget this dude. He was always, like, he, you would see him, like, he'd take a dip, a, a big, like, piece of dip, chew a sip of coffee, and he'd be like, God, I hate that bitch. And he'd just walk away. Like, it was, like, it was literally every morning we'd see him at PT formation. He'd put a dip, because you'd get early. We'd get a little earlier to formation. We saw him. Yeah. And I'd always go hang out with him because he was, like, a huge marble guy. And I remember, uh, <laughs> I can't remember this motherfucker's name. Just every morning, dude, for, like, like you know, every morning. I can relate. Yeah. You can I relate. Can, I can relate. Yeah. <laughs> we got, we, we, we had a, it was like when we had Susan Price, like she's telling the story of like mm -hmm. the, her kid, dude, I was reading some of the, the stuff she was telling me about mm -hmm. that motherfucker asked for, for air support 10 times. Yeah. 10 times bro at some point you kind of have to like like if if you know if they're in that situation i would imagine and god knows i could be wrong at some point he probably laughed and was like this motherfucker really like this motherfucker that's a wild situation dude. well same thing with benghazi you know how many times they asked for oh yeah they asked for a support and they denied them yeah why was it that they denied it like what they was were the... some bullshit answers like well they're too far away i'm like that's not Truth acceptable i got priority or troops in contact have priority. And uh, if it's, uh, I think, and I don't know if this is true, but I'd like to have somebody. I think uh, the UAVs that we have, if if there's contractors and, like, certain assets there, they have priority. I well, I just, think, I just think uh, they did send them because they wanted, because it was anniversary of 9-11, and they knew something was going to happen. Mm -hmm. And they screwed up, and they're like, "Well, well if we just ignore it, it didn't happen." I don't think that's happen. the reason, but that's that's a. I, I've always wondered why they did that. It just seems like that's what we're doing. It's like we don't see you, we don't hear you, so well, it's not happening. Pretty much did. Like I've read, like on different places, like 
the and she's sending me like a copy of the investigation. Yeah. Which yeah. which once I have that, like I'll definitely have her back and have a better conversation. Well, yeah, if you can get through the redacted parts. No, no, no. She's sending me everything. Like everything. Like she's oh. sending me, yeah, she's mailing me a copy of it. She's not emailing it to me. She's mailing me a copy. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, I've so. seen some of those reports and they're so much redaction. It's like, okay. Yeah, but we'll see what she what It she was sends. warm where they were at. That's all I got. You know? <laughs> yeah. There's like, there's like 497 pages and then like three paragraphs. They yeah. were warm. And they're like 50 to 75 pages. Like Yeah in between each other and you're like what the fuck is this but they were warm that's all you needed to know yeah that's the only thing you we it, can tell you it's like <laughs> get into a 13 hour fire of course they're gonna be fucking warm hell yeah what the fuck, bro <laughs> they sweated <laughs> so no i've seen some of those and they get redacted quite heavily well that's like have you seen the video of the the pj the, PJ. the fucking I gotta show you this. What do you mean the PJ? I don't for, for the people is... on Patreon, like you'll you'll be able to watch this. Okay. But I'm about to no, I'm about to show you this. It it gives me goosebumps watching this because it's just wild. Hold on a minute, let me see. Aha. Here it is, right here. First Medal of Honor ever recorded. So we'll mute because I don't know if this is. Oh, so it's about it's about eight minute long for the people listening, uh, especially the people in Barbados. This is like the first ever Medal of Honor recorded that that they have the the video. If I'm actually uh, doing what they said he did. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a U.S. Uh, Air Force tech sergeant uh Ch chapman master Sergeant Ch uh john chapman so he, he's up here he's engaging see there's a flash he's engaging an enemy position up here on this hill they're trying to rescue these guys right here i i think and i yeah so he was in a oh an, oh entire seal team yeah, yeah. yeah 18 members so see he's engaging they're trying to flank we're gonna push a little forward. Yeah. Watch this. There's two fucking bunkers. Bunker two and So this is what's wild. He destroys both bunkers. And he's 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 he, right there, what you see is his body. Like after after the enemy hit him and he destroyed the whole the whole enemy team and shit. There he is. That's him. It's the enemy dead. Damn. Yeah. Is is wild, dude. Is a wild, wild story. Two thousand and two yeah, John Chapman and Air Force Combat Control along with SEAL team with a SEAL team are attempting to rescue their lost teammate. We watch Chapman's story and heroic action as he saved the lives of an entire seat team and another 18 QRF force. Quick reactions force QRF to earn America's highest honor, the Medal of Honor. Well, he should have got a Medal of Honor just hanging at an Air Force guy with, with the Navy seal. seal. How did you pull that off? The power How did you? <laughs> He's or got a book. This. Oh. Well, he, uh, you know, I think it's one of the people who, who survived. Oh, yeah, because that's not Chapman. That's. Yeah, he had to be. Let me see. Mm. Special Forces Combat Diver. Oh, Diver. Oh, okay. My gosh. Wow. That's a whole different animal. He's a a Halo. diver. Yeah. He's a Halo. He's a master parachutist. He's an SF Combat Diver, which that's. Have you ever seen that? The Special Force Combat the, Diver? The Diver, the videos of it. I've seen some of the Bro. videos, yeah. It's gnarly. I know someone who is. Oh yeah. And I was like, I asked him. He's like, it gets better. <laughs> it, gets like, better. it gets better. It gets better. I was like, oh god, no, dude, that is, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, coffee or die did a, a thing on him. Oh snap! We're gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Have to see, up. 
see what we can do with that. that. We'll yeah. see what we can do with that. Definitely. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's, there's, we, we kind of messed up this year because I thought we could get people like last year, and it's like, nah, you got to schedule people, certain people, months and months and months in advance. You, yeah, you, I didn't realize we had to do that either. Well, actually. it's just we're new. We're new at it, and it's just a big mistake that, you know, man, it's just one of those things, and it's the holidays too, so it's like, you know, there's certain things that uh that are simply you just gotta you just gotta learn and hopefully not make that same mistake again. And you should be good. Just kinda like oh God. There we go. There turn we it, go. turn it, turn it. That's, there we go. That's killing me. We okay. Yeah, we out. had a video issue, but that's okay. Uh, we got it. We got it now. It's just crazy to me, dude. Is is such a ugh, those Medal of Honor dudes, man. I feel like if you got a Medal of Honor, you should never pay taxes again, never pay alimony or child support. Just psh, out of the system, fucking bro. Just put that motherfucker like a like a racehorse. <laughs> put him out the pasture. Breed that motherfucker. Yeah, put him on me. Uh, you, man. You, the same to a stud farm. Bro, do you know how hard it would be to get the medal? How much harder it would be to get the medal of honor? It's like it's like, it's like I'm getting upgraded to a medal of honor. It's you just see like a uh it would be like porn star. <gasps> Bro, you can have like a porn star. You have like a porn star do it of your choosing. Mm. 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 The porn community does give back very good to the the veteran community. I'm just saying. Do you imagine being a Medal of Honor recipient yeah. and it's like, yeah, we just we're just gonna have you, we're just gonna repopulate the world with your seed. Yeah, <laughs> and we're gonna do it the old fashioned way. Put your dick in this right here, sir. You just get jerked off three hours a day, bro. Did you imagine he's wearing the Medal of Honor? <laughs> Starts biting into the middle of my. He's like, oh, <laughs> you think they know him? You think they they'd have just chicks lining up to fuck him? You would think so, yeah. Like, like they they know they'll never get child support though. Yeah. Like you know how how many because free loads people would be blowing if they know they didn't have to pay child support alimony. You know how many they do now. <laughs> But imagine, imagine it's like it's like, hey, alimony don't exist. All right, all right. I'm pointing it at everybody. All right, I'm... <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh God, <laughs> bro, I could just imagine. <laughs> I can't imagine actually. Never no, mind. No. I was gonna say Dakota Meyer shows up. It's just. Ah! <laughs> Would they line them up together like all the Medal of Honor recipients, even the Vietnam guys? What if it's a yeah. what if it's a retroactive Medal of Honor? Who gets jerked off then? Well, if it's retroactive, not retroactive. Uh, post, uh, post, uh, posthumously. Uh, yeah. God, I feel. Would like it that. be his son? He's like no, because then it's like well, could you? It's like going. It's like free college. You'd be like, hey, you get free college and. <laughs> I don't think so. it would, it, 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 you would have to be alive. You would have to be alive. What if they're like from Vietnam and stuff? Bro, if you jerk that dude off, you'd kill him. Fuck. Yeah, I guess you'd have to do it. Well, no, the Vietnam, they're probably could pretty they ask, they're pretty tough. They're they pretty ask, they're Vietnam, they're, like, they're pretty they're like, tough. Could they be like they're probably going like put some napalm on it? <laughs> I wanna <laughs> feel it. I wanna <laughs> feel it. I want a Vietnamese female <laughs> napalm in her hands to jerk <laughs> That's so wrong. God, that's so wrong. Oh my God, that's so Get wrong. Get that white girl out of here. I tell you. What. <laughs> <laughs> At least Asian. Come on. <laughs> Those older guys, bro, they're so unfiltered. Oh, yeah. Like the shit that they say just blows my mind. Yeah, I can't see where that you have to be gentle with them. So you can't. Like, that's the thing. You just, you just can't like, have to, like, really, like, it's okay. Like this is this is what we're gonna talk about now. Yeah, I just still think that should be the thing. You know, I tried to set up a show at a uh, is a retirement home. Mm -hmm. You know, like assisted living type mm -hmm. thing. And they're like, "Well, we're gonna have to filter your jokes because we don't want to offend the uh, elderly here." 
And I was like, do you realize the dirtiest, nastiest, racist jokes I heard was from my grandfather? Do you realize that those... <laughs> when there was no PC, there was no nothing. Bro, just, those nursing just... homes are breeding grounds. Like, those people, those old people are fucking... Yeah. I'm not, not in each and every one of them, obviously. 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 But, like, in a lot of nursing homes, like, I've, I've talked to, like, a lot of, like... <laughs> I know a lot of nurses that, that, that have worked in them, and they're like... Yeah, me too. Like, Dude, you'd go in to, like, change your sheets... And like out would come, you know, a uh, uh, Dave older, an older <laughs> would come Dave or would come, you know. It's like worse when Mariana, Dave and Bob, yeah, yeah, Dave and Bob come yeah, out. Yeah. And they, <laughs> and they see the sheets and they're like, ah, oh, old, old people jizz has to be wild. Like, it, it, they probably don't care. It's like, it, Maria, uh, can't you just do one at a time? God, that's so wrong. Oh, that's so wrong. It's, I mean, good for them though. That, that you know, they well, since Viagra, yeah. I mean, such a dangerous drug though to me. Like, it's yeah, but if you're 80, who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you could die. Yeah, that's true. I could. <laughs> I feel like if you're the age of like 70, like you shouldn't, like, you should take Viagra. Yeah. You <laughs> like, screw it. <laughs> Bro, you should be legally allowed to do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> You should have a license to do whatever the fuck you want. Like, you want to fucking take a shit in the middle of the street? Go take a shit in the middle of the street. You, you've lived no, a good life. Yeah, I don't. I just think you shouldn't have to worry about speed limits if you're 70. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That's why, though? That's kind of dangerous, though. Like, speed limits, that's kind of dangerous. Yeah, but you see the people that drive now? <laughs> How is it any less dangerous? I feel like At least they would probably take the slow ones out. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Jesus. that's so bad oh god god no 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 god no yeah no make it go away make it go away that's so bad oh my god that's so bad oh god puerto ricans voted too i think I'm not sure. I gotta. I gotta check. I said I don't know if they had uh, a voting. Probably. We'll see how we're gonna fuck it up this this time. I'm just surprised that the the governor. Mm -hmm. uh, was, uh, I think it's Peter Luisi is the name. No, it. the uh, yeah, I think so. But the one in New York, uh, what was his name? Whitmore, uh, the Puerto Rican guy. No, uh, the the female governor in New York, Whitmore, the female. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not i'm not tracking where, where are you going with this uh it, yeah according uh according to the poll she she's going to win i don't oh. know if they're done counting but she's a she's a democrat and she's like her opponent she debated her uh opponent and and he was talking about crime and she's going like why are you so concerned we have laws it's like uh yeah <laughs> The reason we're concerned is That's because you keep it. letting people out. You just, there's no bail. They don't. That's why I love Missouri. So. That's why I love Missouri. I was just surprised you won. It's, it's like, all. it's like everybody is nice. Like I was, I was, uh, I had this joke a long time ago. It's, it's never working. Yeah. It was about how people in Missouri, like, and I've seen this. I've, uh, you could see someone doing meth in the corner, shitting their guts out. And the lady would be like, oh my gosh, sweetie, here's something to drink so you don't get dehydrated. And yeah. the meth addict's like, thank you, ma'am, sorry. And then you just move on. Yeah. And it's just like, it blows my mind how like people are like, oh yeah, whatever. You know, someone will take care of that, you know, whatever. Like, And then they're like so helping yeah. too at the same time. It's like the perfect combination of not give a fuck and fuck around and find out. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you, dude. Well, it's it's... A little less intense in Texas. Yeah, but everybody in Texas has a gun. Everybody. Yeah, but there it just seems like Texas is a little more intense. It's Texas, man. That's what I mean. It's Texas. It's fucking I Texas. Mean. It's fucking Texas. And Missouri's like Texas except we're calmer. <laughs> we're a little more low. Yeah, I could see. Yeah, 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 yeah. we're a little more low key than Texas. Yeah. I, see that. yeah. I mean, we'll still shoot you, but we won't get excited about it. No, no, no. <laughs> we have to. We have to let you know that we were in fear for our life. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> plus there's only one person to tell the story, so you know that makes it there's easier. Only one person to tell <laughs> you know, it's funny. that makes that makes the police force so much easier to fill out. <laughs> that was the uh, uh one of the first uh like Dave Chappelle specials that I saw was the one where he's talking about 
sprinkle some crack on him. <laughs> it's like, yeah. And I didn't get that joke. No. And I was explaining, I was explaining. That's why I say like a lot of the stuff that Dave Chappelle talks about. I unfortunately, like I'm not, I don't follow, like I'm so behind on American culture and, and problems that a lot of the stuff he talks about sometimes it like goes over my head. Oh like, yeah. Watching a lot of his old stuff. Uh, I had someone explain that to me. They're like, well, in, in Washington or Oregon, I think it was wherever it was. Mm -hmm. like, that's what cops, cops got caught doing that. They like put crack in people's pockets. Yeah. And I was like, what? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, oh, that's even funnier. The fact that he would say that that's, that's hilarious. And the way he sets it up, it's like, I've seen this before, Thompson. Yeah. <laughs> he puts pictures of, of, of his family up there to pretend like it's his house. <laughs> like, then I got that, dude, yeah, when I got that joke, I was like, oh my God, that's so wild. It's like uh, G King, like G King, which he, he made the list on the, the comedy store the other day. Oh, sweet. Yeah. He, nice. When's he going to be up? He was up here. Let me pull it up because I don't want to. <clears throat> okay. I don't know why. That's going wild there. Uh, Giovanni King. Well, shout out to G King, man. Dude, oh, yeah. I mean, that's awesome. good. I mean, getting a... He's, awesome. he's a hustler. Oh, he is. I, I love... Mean... Have you seen his Take uh, take Care of Gerald uh, meme? It's an no. iguana hugging. Oh. <laughs> For the people that don't know, like, Take Care of Gerald is, is this... Um, Giovanni King has this, this whole skit about uh take care of gerald and gerald is just the typical guy that you're uh you know your single mom i guess or not your single mom i'm sorry like the typical guy that when he dates a woman the, he makes the woman pay for everything mm -hmm. and he's always like hugging behind her and like giving her neck massage like yo baby you know what's up and uh g king just posted a picture of an iguana doing that <laughs> it's like yo baby you got your wallet you pay for this and the iguana just like licking the other iguana, like, side of their like, I mean, it's 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 uh dude what would that be in spanish head out of though it would be yeah it would have to be Take wouldn't it of head out of though yeah would head, head out of the wooden clean would not he clingy would, not, not clean hispanic dude yeah he would just he would just lay pipe and drink all day with the sombrero Puerto Rican guy? <laughs> I didn't see a single sombrero. Puerto Rican guy would have a Yankees hat. There you go. Yeah, I didn't see a single sombrero in Puerto Rico. <clears throat> no, we have... Um, Mexico I did, though. Well, down there. We have, like... Actually, we have, like, something similar to sombreros. Uh, yeah, they make them on the beach, uh, the palm trees. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know what they're, they're called. I but call them Hibaro hats. Is that what they are? Yeah, yeah, Hibaro those. Bala. Yeah, you go to the beach <laughs> and you just buy one. Because they, they'll make them right there. They're and, pretty cool. And they're green. You can get them green. You can get them a lot of different different colors. But yeah. it's... um. But they, they used to make them right on the beach there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they still do. <clears throat> they still have people who do that, man. It's it's kind of wild to me that they they still they still do that sort of things, dude. What are we doing for Veterans Day? Well, I've already went on the website and looked where all the places were giving away food. So this will come out tomorrow on Veterans Day. So we're going to go and just. You already got a plan because you go to. I haven't, I if haven't, you go, I haven't you done can, this in a while, to be honest. You can go. We can, are we doing go, this? Like, are we genuinely doing this? Or are we going to go? Yeah, go to Starbucks and oh, give you a free coffee. Oh, okay. And okay, then tomorrow? you run to. Yeah, and then you go to IHOP and they are give you, you free. It's like, we're going to go. Yeah, they give you free pancakes. Dude, I haven't done this in forever. <laughs> And then you go to the. I haven't been eating yet, so I would have to go to jujitsu. <laughs> no, I have to go to jujitsu twice to, to eat that much. I have to go tonight. No, you just get a box to go box. You can't take. Box. You can't too. You just take a couple bites of it. It's like, oh, this is so delicious. I'm sorry. Can, can I get a box? And then they give you a box. And it's like, thank you for your service, and you walk out. We need cash though. Like we need to have cash to leave tips. Well, I didn't say you didn't leave a tip. I mean, I'm just like saying. Hundred bucks, like a hundred bucks for the day. You just drop, you go to five places, just drop 10 bucks. Yeah. I just want steak. Yeah. And then you can go to Applebee's after that. Is and that then Applebee's has the steak? Yeah, it's free. Has the steak. Hold on. Well, R Texas Roadhouse has it. And then oh, Applebee's. We Applebee's go to, is one. We got to hit up Texas Roadhouse like immediately. And uh, what's the other one? Um. Anyway, I have a whole list. I was like, that's in Springfield. That's in Springfield. That's in Springfield. And, I still got to go by uh, uh, Bloom. 
said I, oh yeah we gotta go by boom too yep we gotta go by boom hold on let me see missouri veterans day uh, free stuff uh, free yeah free freebies freebies freebies. We'll go with freebies all right here we go list of veteran 56 minutes ago it's on msn msn is it msn oh yeah i thought it was yeah no okay oh no k fox okay it's st louis okay st louis uh, place offering free stuff all right dunkin donuts active duty uh veterans and active duty it's a free donut with no purchase quick trip uh free small self-serve hot dog or Big Q, uh-huh. hot dog, sort of hot Jets, drink, or BQ, Jets I'm Pizza. Sorry. Jets Pizza, fifty percent off Detroit style. Seven Eleven, a free quarter pound big bite. I don't even know what that is. Apple I don't even Jays. know where the Seven Eleven is around here. Uh, free meal when they dine in. We we'll get a five dollar bounce back card. Oh, so you can okay. get the next three weeks. So you okay. can get yeah, yeah, yeah. so Chili's. Free meal from a select meal. menu. Okay. Yep. So we gotta. The plan is we gotta hit up all of these. Yeah. And we have to get like our douchey veteran hat too. I have one. Yeah, we, you have one. I. It's I got the one. scrambled eggs on it. Yeah. It's got the scrambled eggs. On it. it does. Fifty cc's. Oh god, I won't go there. Cracker Barrel. Not cc's. No. Cracker Barrel. A free slice of double chocolate fudge, Coca Cola cake. <laughs> what I can't. In store or bro. online. <laughs> No, I'm going to get it just to see what, what it is. Doing, to double check. Ju- yeah. Go like, call that motherfucker. Get down here. We are going to. No, no, no. It's for real. Text that motherfucker. Texting? <laughs> Text that motherfucker. Oh, we're almost done with this episode. Okay. We're All right. Done. All right. Denny's. Okay. Can get a free Grand Slam. Ooh, a Grand Slam. Oh, I haven't had a Grand Freddy's Slam in a while. Custard and steak burgers. Ooh, a free meal card. Okay. Veterans and people who are currently serving. Freddy's original double cheese combo meal cart. Okay, Golden Corral. Okay, November 14 from 5 p.m. until they close, they will have a military appreciation night. <gasps> a night? Wait, it's on the 14th. On the 14th? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. 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 Meal. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Take a picture of this. No, no, no. You need to take it. You know what? No, let me. No, no. Yeah, screenshot that. Yeah. No, no, no. Hold on. I got it. I got it. You got it? Ladies and gentlemen, that what you're seeing here right now is how veterans prepare to feast <laughs> for a week. Like, this is what you're seeing here is a mission. Is uh is this is it, mission planning? This is a mission planning right here. It's it's mission planning at its finest right now. Where are you? I'm gonna send this, Eric. Yeah. Eric Paulson. That guy, I haven't seen that guy forever. I haven't seen him in a while either. Yeah. yeah, well, we've been busy too. It's well, that's true. that's true. All right, so I sent it to you. Krispy Kreme, free donuts, IHOP. Okay, so IHOP, Golden Crow. We got to remember that. One. 14th for that. IHOP, we got to hit up IHOP first. IHOP, yes. Little Caesars, get a free lunch combo participating. Lunch combo. Okay, so we got to go get that. See, this, from, this is from what 11 to 2. From 11 yeah, to so, 2. So this so. is what you do. This is what you do, right? Yeah. You get, you get all these things, right? You get all of them. And then what you do is you take your girl out, right? Or you take your wife, right? And mm-hmm. then you just eat that, and then whatever your wife wants, she can get because you know you're going to spend that money, right? Now, if you're single, what you do is you take a girl, and then you make her pay for you because it's Veterans Day. Well, what you do <laughs> That's horrible is, advice. It is horrible advice. What you do is you get a girl that's already a veteran. No, no, because then she's going to want to peg you. No, 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 not if she, hey, I don't rank, <laughs> I don't rank her, I so, so that don't work. That don't work. <laughs> oh my god no starbucks starbucks all right coffee 11. You get you, you okay cool 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 so we got yeah okay texas roadhouse 11 a.m to 2 see this is why 11 to 2 to yeah yeah so 11 to 2 right people in the military can get a free meal these vouchers are going to free carry out oh dine in or carry out oh okay we'll carry out and then go to tgif friday Oh, yeah, we can carry out and then go to Fridays. Oh, we get a free. So, okay, see, this is why it's good. So, Wendy's breakfast, TGI Fridays, Roadhouse, mm-hmm. and Red Lobster is lunch or evening, mm-hmm. right? And then Lidl Caesars 11 to is 4. lunch. Yeah, so we got this Golden Corral. We got to go on the 14th. That's the 14th, yeah. I would probably just not eat anything. I don't think, I think the steak is like the only thing I would eat out of Golden Corral. 
uh yeah so see we got we got a battle plan we got yeah. a battle plan this is like we just a- most of it is we gotta remember most of it's 11 to 2 yep no we'll 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 plan this yeah out. no we'll no no because there's se- yeah dine out or carry out we'll get to carry out <laughs> we'll get to <laughs> get to carry out so we can go to another restaurant oh my god <laughs> hopefully they don't listen to this before I me mean, like hey we know who you are speaking of, of <laughs> what are you doing uh, speaking of listening we want to thank everybody listening man it's been yes. really cool to to keep doing this and there's times where it's a little difficult but there's a lot of people that that listen to it more than watch it and it's like really cool to to see those emails and yes it's, it's really it's it, you know it's it's difficult but if you guys have or gals have um have a a guest that you'd like for us to talk to uh, or even a subject matter or even a subject matter that you guys would like us to talk to we're always open to suggestions right now we're going to be concentrated heavily on history Mm-hmm. It's because we'd like to have as many historians. Uh, it's just been a goal of ours. This year, we heavily concentrate on having like celebrities from back in the day and whatnot. Because you know that's something that I miss. And Eric is a subject, not a subject matter expert, but knows more than me. Mm-hmm. So, man, it's been cool, dude. It's been yeah. cool. Let's go plan. Let's go plan this shit out, man. Follow yeah. us on Patreon and on YouTube, everybody. Yes, do that. And Barbados. And Barbados. Shout out. Keep most love. Do, man. A lot of love. If you want us out there for a show or something, let us know. We can talk it out. Yes. 